And hey guys, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Pokemaniac, coming at you with another electrifying episode of Pokemon, a white version. In the last episode, we uh, battled Bianca and got all the way through Route 6. Uh, we were accosted by some uh, curious scientists, we'll say, and we got all the way here to Chargestone Cave. A shocking experience, if I've ever heard of one. <laughs> I should be a sign writer. That's my uh, new goal in life. And uh, we got to the end of Route 6 here at the entrance of Chargestone Cavern, which is where Clay said we should meet him, but uh, he does not seem to be here uh, at all. But, oh, well, the speak of the devil and he shall appear. Thanks for waiting. All right. Uh, I wasn't waiting. I was uh, not, not, near, uh, not nearly in enough water for that. Looks like the nest of an electric-type Pokemon called Galvantula. Yeah, well, I've never heard of it, so it's probably not going to be relevant anytime soon. Don't know why there's a nest here, but it's, if the folks are having problems, the gym leader's the one to fix it. Boy, where was that attitude when it came down to, to, to capturing and apprehending and dealing out justice to Team Plasma, Clay? Where was that? Crock-a-rock, take it out. All right, and, uh, why, ooh, and, uh, I love how it had the super effective move right there. Uh, that was pretty nifty. And this here TM's yours. It's my favorite TM, so you can teach it to all your Pokemon. And we get TM78 Bulldoze. I don't know why he waited for us. He waited all this time for us to meet him here just to give us that. Um, we also have our own Crocorock, so I'm pretty sure we could have taken care of this thing. Um, but, you, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm beyond questioning Clay's motives, okay? It's called Bulldoze. This move does damage and lowers the speed of any Pokemon it hits. Some ground-type Pokemon move a little slower than you'd like. If you Bulldoze right, you can cover that weakness. Which, you know what? He's not wrong about that. Um, funny enough, that's a pretty good actual... That is the first useful thing I think Clay has actually done for us. So, you know what? Thank you, partner. I don't know how good you really are, but if you think you can go, go with wherever. And if you think you can do something, keep doing it. Do things how you want. Decide your own limits. All right. That's a... I like that attitude there. You know what? Clay, you're all right. You're good people in my books. All right. And more importantly, we got ourselves the TM for Bulldoze, which we're going to go ahead and check on real fast. Uh, bulldoze... Uh, uh, it's base power 60. Dig is, like, so much stronger on K. Rule right now. I just... I don't know if that's worth it. I'm going to make the executive decision and say it's really not worth it. Um, so we're just going to kind of move on. Um, yeah, no, nothing nothing to it but to do it, I suppose. And let's go ahead and enter the Charge Stone Cave, uh, which doesn't get a, you know, little, you know, bulletin sign because, uh, you know, um, we already entered Charge Stone Cave out here. I did not mean to leave. Thanks for that. But anywho, let's move right in. And okay, maybe we did want to leave. All right, we're not we're not dealing with. We've had enough green-haired freaks in the last like 24 hours, so we're uh, okay. Okay, okay, fine, fine. We'll do it. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll go confront uh, another green-haired freak. Just what I want to do with my day off. Talk to green-haired freaks. Tell you what sacrifices I make for you guys. All right, and oh. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's ninjas of the hidden leaf. My goodness. Come. You could have... It's one word and you could have phrased it better. Any other word. Ooh, jeez. We were moving real quick there. <laughs> my lord N, we brought the one you wanted. I love how he puts his arms out. Oh, yes, dude. That was the Shadow Triad just now. I know there were only like two of them, but trust me, they are the Triad. Getsus enlisted them in Team Plasma. Apparently, they were the ones who prepared the Galvantula Nest. Like, did they do that by themselves? Or did they use Galvantula? I, I, there are some questions I don't need answers to. All right. Charge Stone Cave. <laughs> I like this place. Formulas express electricity and its connection to Pokemon. If people did not exist, this would be an ideal place. You've been chosen, you know? Does it surprise you that I've said that? Um, you know what? No. Just based on my, my, based on my extreme level of, like, 
main character syndrome? No, that does not surprise me in the least bit. So no, bro. Humph. If you don't understand what that means, it's not likely to surprise you. What the heck is that? Okay, buddy. Them's fighting words, all right? I told Guts about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used the Shadow Tribe to find out about you. But then that didn't work. So basically, he just logged onto the internet and bought all of your data from a large company that just keeps track of those types of things and learned all about you for a very, very cheap price. Sharon is pursuing the ideal of strength. And Zelda is pursuing the ideal of wisdom. <laughs> okay. Poor Bianca has faced a sad truth that not everyone can become stronger. My goodness. This is getting... Look, like, for the most part, you know, like, N's a really chill guy in everything, and I really, like, like his dialogue, but th this? I don't know. I'm not... I don't like this conversation that I'm having with him today for whatever reason. Like, it just seems very arrogant and like it's it is very much along the lines of people how do I want to phrase this um like people who think their way is the only way and they're willing to impose those onto others um regardless of what that entails so um, I've kind of talked about that, you know, the ends justify the means, and my end is the best end, so all of the means are justified type of people, which I don't usually get um, from N. Again, it might be the way that I answer these questions, um, but yeah, no, he's just, he's he's very standoffish today, I guess. And you are not swayed either way, more of a neutral presence. Yeah, well, I, right now I'm swaying towards kicking you in the... <laughs> <laughs> Kicking your butt, I guess I'll say. Which is apparently a good thing. Team Plasma will be waiting for you ahead. Guess this wants to see what kind of Pokemon trainer you really are. Alright, get out of Oh my gosh, I tell you what. If I wasn't a stoic, I would have socked him one. Alright, so anyway, um, yeah, check this out. Okay, so a really cool gimmick. So we're in Charged Stone Cavern, and of course... Or charged stone cave, and of course the caves are charged, and of course the caves have Pokemon with them. So say hello to a Pokemon we haven't seen uh, thus far, and that is Ferroseed. Ferroseed is another one of those like absolutely phenomenal Pokemon that I can't recommend highly enough. Um, it is Steel and Grass, which is a I believe it's a unique type up until this point, but also its defenses are just absolutely phenomenal. Great Pokemon for setting up. Um, Spikes and Stealth Rocks. It's one of the few Pokemon that can actually do both. Um, and it, it, it's a wall. Like, you're just... You, nothing's getting through that. Now, also, in the, the little gimmick... Uh, can I please get to an explanation without some freak interrupting me? What? Don't say chicken butt. That, Bianca, do we not just kick your butt or maniac did you know this when the floating stones move when you touch them i was just gonna say that but huh oh no the queen of japanese is here oh hi there how are you maniac no oh, i was good until came around oh, goodness this place is always charged with lots of electricity that pokemon like oh just in general in, what, what about water type pokemon or flying type pokemon do you think they like them too the electrics the electric charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. So, like, magnets. Magnetism is what you're talking about. But not all the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink. What? Which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear. Oh, okay. I'm sure that didn't cause any controversy when this uh, initial set of Pokemon uh, <laughs> were released. <laughs> Because I'm researching the origins of Pokemon and the era they appeared. He knows how to get what he wants from people. But I was re already interested in this anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Your dad's manipulating you, alright? You're living under your father's thumb. Oh yeah, Maniac, this is for you. And we get probably the greatest item in this game, Gen 5 in particular. The Lucky Egg. Now, Lucky Eggs have been available in previous generations. They've just been much harder to, to obtain. Um, honestly, this was the first generation that I was actually aware of the item of the Lucky Egg. So, Lucky Egg, phenomenal. Le okay, we'll just let, you know, Professor Yappiner, uh, Ju- Yap, Yap, 
Yapper, yeah, Ju Juni, Juni Yapper, Yapper. We just let. <sighs> we just let Professor Juniper explain, okay? Giving that lucky egg to a Pokemon to hold increases the amount of experience points received in battle by a lot. Having strong Pokemon will make it easier to fill your Pokedex pages. So yes, that is incredibly important. So having uh. Uh, particularly when grinding, having a lucky egg in Gen 5 is supremely good. Um, is it? Do they go to the bottom or the top? I guess they go to the top. Alright. So, a lucky egg basically lets your Pokemon get 1.5 times the experience points uh, that it would normally get, which is super handy um, given the scaling experience in uh, the 5th generation. So, when you're training or if you're switch training or anything like that, utilize this lucky egg. It is, it is, it is a gift... Well, I, I was going to say it's a gift from Arceus, but really it's just a gift from Juniper, and I, I can't thank her enough for it, honestly. I mean, this is legitimately a an actual useful item, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad uh, to see I'm glad to see Juniper here, okay? Just just for that. All right. And like Bianca said, we can push these stones. Um, they are magnetized. I don't know what all this charging and nonsense is about, but it's basically magnets. Um, all right. Uh, Boldor. Um, have we seen a Boldor before? Uh, hashtag bars, by the way. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here real quick. So I can continue my explanation. Um, it's a really cool gimmick, honestly. Um, you can push these floating blocks, uh, or floating rocks, I should say, but you can only push them towards the electrically charged boulders. Um, so if you try to push that thing in a different direction, it won't go. But if you push it towards a boulder, uh, it'll snap to it. So that opening the way for you. So not too shabby. And again, I kind of like the little added detail of like the electricity coming off of it. It's just it's very nice. All right. And as you can see here, uh, we are um, our our path is impeded by this thing. If you try to push it to your left, it does not move. But we can run into a wild Pokemon. As I was saying, if you push it to towards the stone, boom. Snaps right there, and that's very useful. So, Bianca tells us you can actually push the stones, but they don't give away how the stones work. Um, and they give you an opportunity to figure it right out. And we get a Parlous Heal, which will actually be pretty handy here, um, I suppose, in Charged Stone Cave. And, oh, look at this thing! Now, we've seen this Pokemon before. However, I very coyly did not speak about it because... That's right, guys. Joltik is the next member of our team. I I did not forget to put a repel up, okay? I, I never forget that anymore. It, it is ingrained in my brain that we use repels when we're in Ks uh, ever since the whole, um, you know, uh, Gen 4 situation, um, which we do not speak of. Anywho, Joltik. So, we did run into this Pokemon before. I very coyly did not talk about it, but it is going to be the next member of our team. I think Joltik is a phenomenal combination. Um, it is gra or grass. It is bug and electric, as you can see. Um, we're going to go ahead and give it a mud slap because I know that's not going to kill it. Uh, and it's, you know, going to lower the accuracy, so it's not going to hit us with anything. So, I think this is a phenomenal typing. It complements our team so well, like, ridiculously well. And, um, ooh, bug, but that's actually devastating to K. Rule. Jeez, oh man. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this thing another mud slap. Uh, get into yellow before we catch this thing. Um, Joltik, uh, great special attacker. Super, super fast, which is something we, we don't have a lot of speed on our team right now, and Joltik will absolutely, um, add to that, uh, dimension, covering up one of our weaknesses. Also, um, it'll be a great lead, uh, we... We've had Volt Switch sitting in our bag for, like, a long time uh, at this point. Um, and Joltik's going to be the perfect Pokemon for it. It'll be a great lead. Um, super fast. We can lead off. Volt Switch around. Um, I just think it'll be an absolute boon to the team. So, we have caught ourselves a Joltik. And now, for the nickname. I had uh, thought long and hard about this nickname. And it was going to depend. So, Joltik. The attaching. Oh, the attaching Pokemon. Now, I know it's a tick right now, but it does evolve into something else. They attach themselves to large body Pokemon and absorb static electricity, which they store in an electric pouch. Aww! So it's a cute parasite. Now, I also want you to look. This thing is four inches tall and one pound. My goodness. That's... That, that, that is absolutely tiny. But it's also, you know, makes parasites cute. You know, it latches onto big Pokemon and just absorbs the electricity. It doesn't burrow in with its fangs and suck their blood. Um, so yes, we are going to give a nickname to Joltik. 
Now, depending on the Joltek we got, the name was going to change. Um, so, let me bring the name up. Alrighty, so guys, if uh, we had happened to catch ourselves a male Joltek, it was going to be Aragog. Um, but, since we have ourselves a female uh, Joltek, we are going to go ahead and name it Muffet. Which, uh, I, I suppose, uh, if, if you know, you know. You know? Yeah. That's all I gotta say about that. So, we welcome Muffet the Joltik to our team. And, oh, I'm so excited. Look at it! Look at her! Oh, look how cute. Oh, oh, she's lonely. Oh, well, she doesn't gotta be lonely anymore. Alright, so. Great. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad her attack stats gonna be higher. That... That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, uh, Joltix are typically uh, very fast special attackers, not so much uh, physical attackers. But hey, maybe maybe that'll be useful in the future, um, particularly with a move like Bug Bite, because uh, you know we got an appetite. You're never gonna get to use that very. Um, we want that. Uh, we want we we want this. Uh, we want that move to hang around for a little bit. So. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and go dive into our big bag of TMs, which we haven't been using very much. Um, we could do Struggle Bug, which is okay. Uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and teach Volt Switch to our uh, Joltik. Uh, because, you know, we definitely... we It's a move that needs to be used and utilized. Um, yeah, I, I've been really excited. I've honestly... I've never actually used a Joltik before in-game. Um, so I'm very excited to actually try it out. But um, just based on... Uh, Based on the types of Pokemon that we've experienced in Pokemon Black and White, um, and the fact that, you know, we don't have an electric type yet, um, I just think Joltik was just the best choice. Um, it's going to complement the team so well. Um, can Joltik learn Grass Knot? That would actually, dude, that would actually be bang. Ah! Okay. That, that's all right. That's all right. Doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. We're good. And, uh, what better to, uh, throw on our, uh, newly obtained Pokemon that we need to train other than a newly obtained item that is perfect for training. So, we're gonna go ahead and give the Lucky Egg to Muffet right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and use a Moo Moo Milk. Uh, not on Muffet, but on K. Rule, because we want K. Rule to be healthy. Alright, and now we can finally throw up our Repel Up. Again, guys, I did not forget i just uh you know needed to run into a jolt all right we need to get the next member of our team chill chill all right so go ahead and put a soup throw up a super repel up and we can finally move through this cave uh, efficiently um i i say as i have a level 24 up front we're gonna go ahead and throw k rule up front until we start bumping into trainers because i do not need to run into any more wild pokemon <sighs> really glad we uh switched we uh, switched our uh, team around there for a second Run into trainers. Ooh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's see what this guy has to say. Again with the creepy music! This cave is full of rooks generating electricity. The electricity is charging me up. Oh, okay, I like this one. He made a pun. I I, I do appreciate puns. That, that's oh it's raw, true. Alright, uh, Ronald, what do you got? A Clink. All right, so this is the Pokemon that uh, Juniper was yapping about, and also a Pokemon we haven't seen thus far. Clink, it's... Well, it's a couple of... You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> is uh, um, Pokemon puns when you're trying to explain them. Anywho, uh, Clink is the pure metal type po or pure metal, pure steel type Pokemon. My goodness, my brain still don't work too good, guys. Uh, <laughs> the gears aren't turning in my brain. They may be turning for a uh, Clink over here. Uh, Ronald using an X attack, which is actually um, pretty all right there, Ronald. I'm gonna go ahead and dig. Uh, it's gonna take some time, but that's all right because we need some time to explain. Uh, Clink, it's it's a decent Pokemon, as decent as pure Steel types can be. Um, it evolves twice. It's not its final form. What is it? Cling Clang? Yeah, Cling Clang. Not a bad Pokemon. Youch! A Lightning Spark. It's not a terrible Pokemon. Um, it gets uh, a special move called, I believe it's called Gear Grind, actually, um, which you know gives it gives it speed and attack. Maybe I think that's what it does. I'm gonna fact check myself on that one, but gets a pretty decent, unique move um, and can be useful if you can get it set up. So better than the than a lot of other Steel type Pokemon options that uh, you have currently. So um, you know, not not to be trifled with, I should say. We can come around here and get ourselves a heal ball. Not too shabby at all. 
Hashtag bars. And, uh, whew. <laughs> All right. Uh, good thing we uh, caught that before uh, this guy saw us because we definitely want, um, uh, we want our, our muffet up front. All right. Uh, not to sit on her tuffet, as it were. I will test you to see whether you have what it takes to aim for the Pokemon League. Uh, Pokemon League already? My goodness. Well, actually, yeah, we are more than halfway through the gym challenge, so that's actually not, uh, not a terrible thing to, to test uh, for, I suppose. And hello, uh, we are seeing a Pokemon we haven't seen thus far, but a Pokemon that we have mentioned uh, thus far. So, if you remember in Relic Castle, we picked ourselves up a fossil. It was the Plume Fossil. This is what the Plume Fossil gets you. An Arcan, which we talked about. It is a rock flying type Pokemon, uh, blessed by Aerodactyl itself. Um, it's got a fantastic stats, uh, as you can see. Look, look, did you see how much damage that did? Um, but an absolutely tragic ability. So. Uh, Arkin, phenomenal stats. Um, the ultimate cosmic power. Itty bitty living space. Um, but it's uh, ability defeatist. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> its ability defeatist means that, um, if it goes below, I think, half HP, um, its stats all drop. So, um, not fantastic. Glass cannon. Absolute de definition of glass cannon, if you ask me. So, um, but definitely the best choice of, you know, fossil Pokemon. And, you know what? I can truly recommend it for your team if you're doing a casual playthrough. Um, it can be very useful. Um, just be ready to heal that thing up uh, when necessary. It will be necessary quite a bit. Uh, just just saying. All right. Uh, is there anything over here that we missed before we move right along? Yes, there is. I'm so glad we checked. Uh, we're going to go ahead and come down here. Uh, yes, I know that one's not going to move, uh, but we can push that one over uh, towards the... Geez, slow down city. And get ourselves a Revive. Not too shabby. Um, yeah, geez, oh man. Um, look, I know it's like... I mean, come on. Like There are cutscenes that have more processing than this, and uh, they didn't stutter around, so um, you know, maybe uh, Charge Stone should just uh, get its stuff together. And another tally in the... Just put another, add, add, Jake won the uh, Dowsing Machine Zero. Um, well, actually two at this point in time. And as you can see, there are little uh, dust devils popping up here. And we get ourselves a Dark Gem. So, you can either run into Pokemon, um, namely uh, Drillbers, uh, or you can find items uh, from uh, these dust clouds. Now, gems are a very uh, unique item. Uh, I wanted to push that one. Can we push that one? Yeah, I suppose we can. Okay, not too shabby. Um, this really isn't... Like the guy said, it's not so much of a maze. It is basically a straight road. It's just you got to navigate. You got to make the openings, I suppose. Um, Go ahead, throw up another Super Repel up. And remember what we were talking about just then. Um, It's gone. It, it, it It's legitimately gone. I don't remember what... It, oh, the, the gems! That's right. So uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at this gem that we uh, just obtained. Uh, nope, not, my goodness. Look, as much as I love the improvements to the bag and fifth gen, there's definitely better ways to improve the gem. So, gems, you can find these all over caves, uh, all over the place in that, um, dust that pops up. And, uh, depending on what type it is, uh, you can give it to a Pokemon to hold, and it will boost the move, the power of a move that you use, uh, one time. So it is a consumable item. So if we put this dark gem on K. Rule, uh, the next time K. Rule used Crunch, uh, it would, what now? Uh, K. Rule's Crunch, it would be powered up, um, just one time, which can be really good, particularly for lead Pokemon, um, that need to, you know, hit really hard. Uh, in order to, you know, surprise an opponent and get an easy KO. So, not too bad. Hi there. Did you find something? No! I did it! It's been two seconds! I think we're just about done collecting data. What What kind of professor are you? <sighs> what? A, chill. She gave you the lucky egg. Don't get too mad. We, we did find the next member of our team. So, it's not like we didn't find nothing in this. This cave has been around since the distant past, but... Data to prove that Clink existed more than a hundred years ago can't be found. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense if you really think about it. Because, you know, it's a Pokemon that seems to be clearly imitating Gears. Um, so Gears would have been found, you know, around, you know, that Pokemon would have been found around the time Gears had been invented. You know, because they're imitating them. So, uh, pretty interesting. So that must mean Clink suddenly appeared a hundred years ago. Just poof! 
out of the air, out of the blue. How about that? I'm a, I'm a scientist, all right? I study these creatures uh, seriously. Trust me, they just appeared. <laughs> Actually, in Pokemon lore, that would make sense. I mean, they very well could be. Where Pokemon came from and where are they going? Where did they come from? Uh, Cotton-eyed Poke. If we can learn that, I believe we can get along even better. Know what, Maniac? Pokemon are mysterious. Wow, Bianca, you're so smart. Maybe I should give you the nerdy voice instead of share. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Bianca. That was misplaced. That you didn't deserve that. Okay. I wonder why these amazing little guys stay by our sides. Little's relative. Um. Oh, it, that, that's just the end of the com convo. All right. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk, Juniper. All right. Don't know why I waste my time with these plebs. Anywho. Moving right along. Ah, uh, coming this way. Are you a tri- Oh, he is! He's a hiker. Man. All right. So, that's a little upsetting. Uh, Ar or Muffet. I almost called her Aragog. My goodness. Muffet uh, is not going to get experience for this first one, but that's okay. Uh, because we will guarantee that uh, Muffet does get her get hers. Well, I guess I'll take a hike. Oh, I love this guy. Oh, he is just the best. Oh, my goodness. I- Thank you for that. That improved my whole mood. Uh, okay, so we can't actually progress forward this way, uh, which is nice. Um, particularly in winding caves where you run into a bunch of Pokemon, I always appreciate it when the paths are just, you know, decided for you. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, going down split paths and missing things and uh, whatnot. Um, yeah, I guess we can still leave K. Rule up here just because um, we don't want to run into any wild po- Oh! No wild Pokemon, but- uh, One, two, three- Oh, there's the triad. K Guys, we talked about this. Oh, why are we just waddling, like, really fast? That doesn't make any sense. Ugh. There are stairs going down ahead. Team Plasma's waiting for you there. D that's it? You just escorted me across the bridge? That was all? Thanks, guys. Thanks. You're absolute champs, I gotta tell you. My goodness, that's so ridiculous. All right. No, I don't push it this way. Push it that way towards the stone, you dingus. All right. So, now I'm all flustered. Let's go ahead. Throw Muffet up. Man, Hart, what was his name? Hardy? Hiker Hardy, man, his pun already. Like, it, 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 the, the, the negativity outweighed the positivity on my day that I got from him, so... I love this place. The electricity charges up my inspiration! Alright, good for you. I We are just running into a lot of mad scientists lately. Maybe maybe there's something else going on in Charged Stone Cave. Um, maybe it's not the electricity, but maybe the fumes. Uh, maybe I might be doing a little something-something to uh, do all these scientists' brains. Hmm, maybe? Aha! Uh -huh, that made a light bulb go off in my head! See, like, that's what I'm talking about. Like... How many people of science have we experienced just go absolutely nuts in this uh, cave? Um, too many for my liking, uh, I would say. Um, we could move those. I don't think there's really any point to doing that, though. But that's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, head on down because, you know, we haven't had enough crazy people. Uh, not just scientists, but uh, we got Team Plasma coming up, as we know. And, oh, that's right. Um, Muffet's out front. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Moving right along. This uh, looks like a job for K. Rule, baby. Because you know we still want to train K. Rule up a little bit, and he does really good against uh, all the tight matchups in Charge Stone. Uh, if I'm being honest with you, well, I say that, but you know, um, dang old Joltix are running around here with like bug bite and stuff, and then we got Pharaoh Thor or uh, Pharaoh seeds that are uh, you know part grass type. So maybe K. Rule's not the Bet. Well, whatever. he wards off wild Pokemon. Um, and he also wards off wild... He don't even need repels, honestly. Just his attitude. <laughs> he's just, his disdain uh, makes him absolutely unapproachable. <laughs> that He just radiates it. So uh, Pokemon just avoid uh, trying to confront him because they know it's going to be a bad time <laughs> whether they want it to be or not. Uh, coming over here talking to these guys. Hi, we're the Nugget Brothers. I am the big brother. I am the little brother of the Nugget Brothers. Glad you showed up. I want to give you this. And wouldn't you know it? It's a nugget. Wow. What a great, what, a, what great upstanding gentleman. I want to give you this too. And we got another nugget. Ah, I love these guys. Hey, you guys are okay in my book. Um, I don't care what anyone else in this uh, silly cavern says. You guys, 
guys are all right. Okay. Um. Should we? Okay, there's an item over here. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now Team Plasma starts, um, you know, showing up. Uh, we did see a doctor though over here to our right, which we will uh, take full advantage of. But if we come over here first, um, where is this gonna take us? Uh, hopefully to a hidden item. Uh, I would hope. Yes? No? Okay, maybe it's just a shortcut. Um, back uh, to the front. Uh, <laughs> back to the front. Um, but all right, all right. Put one on the dowsing machine, stupid. Yeah. Put... All right. Scores two to one. All right. Dowsing machine was worth it. I admit it. Um, this will get, give us a shortcut back. And now the super repel is going to be wearing off awfully quick, uh, if you ask me. What is the, what's the return on these bad boys? Hey, 200 steps don't get you as far as they used to. Anywho, going back down here. That's nice to know that this is here. But we don't need an exit to the cave. But I need a doctor. Uh, so let's go ahead and <laughs> confront a doctor. Now, he's no, he's no Jerry. Uh, but he'll do. He'll do, I suppose. Um, we could really use him. Not so much for, like, you know, HP. But more so along the lines of, you know, PP. Um, we're going to need some more. And, uh, of course, you can't, you know. He, he's a... I was gonna say man of the cloth. He's a man of medicine. He's not gonna, you know, he's not gonna be the aggressor in this situation. You have to initiate with him. If you like, I will make your Pokemon healthy. However, let me challenge you to a battle first. All right, fair trade, masked man. I'd say that's pretty dang good. All right, and uh, one, Wayne, uh, holding up a stethoscope to a Pokeball. I wonder what he hears in there. And he's got a Swad wound. Aww. All right, tit for tat, baby. Take that, Wayne. 2019 experience points. Jeez, oh, man. So we went ahead and let uh, Muffet take down the Swadloon because, well, you know, obviously Bug Bite's going to be, uh, you know, super effective against it. So I thought, you know, why not? And uh, Muffet did a really good job. She took down her first Pokemon. I love how twitchy she is, too. Um, it took a little bit of doing, but, hey, you know, she pulled through for us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of... Huh. That could actually be interesting. Eliminates the effect of the target's ability. Bug by You know what? We're going to pass on Slash. I think we're okay. Uh, we're going to keep old moves. All right. Not too shabby at all. And take that, Wayne. What? Did my po did my Pokemon lose energy? Absolutely they did. Now heal me up like you... Pro okay. I was going to say, as you promised. And then he said now, as promised. All right, Wayne. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know, to make people healthy, doctors go where they are needed. I'm sorry. Uh, you you really are just just a saint. All right. You 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 can be Jerry number two in my book. All right. And moving right along, as you can see, uh, you know we got some more goofy people in this uh, cave uh, who we're gonna have to deal with. My goodness, it never ends. Never ends. Um, but it's not gonna end with us standing here. So let's go ahead and and go for it. You. You came here because somebody manipulated you. If you can win against me, I'll tell you the secret. Hmm, interesting. Um, now, I don't know. I wouldn't say... Well, huh. Now, that is something to think about, isn't it? We're only here because someone manipulated us, too. Well, Juniper did give us the Pokedex and our Pokemon to send us out on a journey to help her out. Um... We did kind of get egged on to do the gym challenge along the way, and, you know, this was part of it, and we did get roped into dealing with Team Plasma, um, so, I don't know, but I guess my response to that would be, you know, at the end of the day, even if we were initially manipulated into, you know, doing it, um, there's a lot of things that go into decision making, so even if somehow we were manipulated into doing it, um, if we're confident in our path and we're doing the right thing, then manipulation or not, I, I don't think it makes uh, too much of a difference how we got onto uh, you know the path that we're on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw Mojo Jojo out here because it's been a hot minute since we've seen our quirked up little monkey um, with the food. But look, oh, look at that. All right. See, he knew. He knew the monkey with swagger was coming out, so he had to use the move. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, give this thing a flame burst. We're going to break through because it's Mojo Jojo. All right. <laughs> Dang. That was depressing. Uh, this is going to hurt because it's a Scraggy. Uh, we're going to break through this time, though. 
Ah! And pay. Is this gonna. Uh, Mojo. Mojo! Ah, oh, say it ain't so so. Come. Oh, and he's got Moxie! This is the worst scenario. Okay, worst case Ontario right here. Uh, let's go ahead, throw Skipper out to clean up because, you know, someone who. Gotta get someone who does the. You know. We need a job done right. Send Skipper to do it. <laughs> uh oh, we got swaggered again, but this is Skipper we're talking about, so I'm I'm very confident Skipper's gonna go ahead and break through this because you know Skipper doesn't fail us. All right, confusion breakthrough. Uh, giving him a false sense of security. That's okay. I like I like your style, Skipper. Uh, that was a critical hit. Um, it's unlucky, but Skipper breaks through. Yeah, you may get scared. It may not look pretty all the time. Like, there may not be, like, finesse and all that jazz, but, like, Skipper's going to come through, all right, at the end of the day. May not be the prettiest and, you know, most finessed way, but Skipper's going to do it. He's going to he's gonna get to get the job done because that's why he's the leader of the team, all right? And we got poor Miss Muffet over here. She's nervous as all get out. But I, I also understand, like, you see a, a four-inch bug that's just, like, Twitching all of the time. I, I, I'd be pretty unnerving uh, myself. Um, particularly since uh, we're supposed to be getting like these like giant spiders here where I live soon. Um, I don't quite know the whole story behind that thing. Uh, which, quite honestly, I'm not really, you know, looking, you know, go, go actively seeking out information on uh, giant Asian spiders that have apparently, uh, you know, made their way to the United States and are making their way. Um, you know, towards my state, but, but, you know, my, my state is denial, that's, that's, that's what it is, all right, so, get a nice little chunk of EXP, K. Roll going to level 32, not too shabby at all, Muffet getting to level 27, all right, oh, I can't believe I lost, all right, so, spill the beans now, like, what's this stupid manipulation you're talking about, Getsus of the Seven Sages supports our king, and Getsus has three subordinates, they are the Shadow Triad, Cool. Nice talk, buddy. Glad we, we, we didn't learn a single new thing. Fantastic. Real glad we had that talk. All right. I, Shadow Triad or Getsus or whatever. I, I know I'm on the right path, so I'm going to keep going. All right. Speaking of keeping on going, keeping on, keeping on. If I win against you, release your Pokemon. Bet. I'm not even, even going to make you promise to do anything. I'm that confident I'm not going to lose against you. You have one Pokemon, bro. Get real. Get real. Hey, not too shabby. Ooh, Aqua Jet. Okay, yes. So, we definitely want Aqua Jet. Um, I know it's going to be a third water move, but Aqua Jet is that useful, guys. So, it's 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 basically water the water form of Quick Attack. It's got priority, so we're going to go ahead and keep that. We haven't used Focus Energy in a while, and I still want a non-water type attacking move. Uh, so we're going to keep Revenge. Um, that's just kind of how it goes. But uh, we haven't used Focus Energy in a hot minute, and Aqua Jet, I think, is super useful. Plasma! I'm mortified. Um, I just think Aqua Jet is uh, a very useful move, particularly with a... Uh, we, we don't have the quickest team, all right? So Aqua Jet is uh, very useful to us. But yeah, dang. I wish I had the confidence to just be like, knowing that I only have one Scraggy in my pocket and go up to someone and be like, yeah, if I, if I beat you, release all your Pokemon. Like, as, as if that was ever going to be an option. Pokemon living in Charchstone Cave are so beautiful because they are free from people. Oh, we actually have uh, someone who believes in the cause. That's nice. Uh, not someone who's just yelling plasma. Uh, that's great. That's great. Good, good little grunt. All right, you got a Trubbish. Um, yeah, what in the well? I don't judge. Oh, no, no, no! Plasma! Again, I just love people declaring uh, Plasma or making some sort of declaration after uh, losing a battle. I just think that is so funny. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have Wayne heal us up a little bit more. I think Jerry, too. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to have Jerry, too, heal us up a little bit more. Our Pell's effect's going to wear off. Oh, which give you something to wear off. I'll tell you what. All right. And moving right. My goodness, it never ends with these freaks. Okay. So we got two more, uh, at least in our field of vision. You. You are the trainer that my Lord Anne is worried about. 
So I'm gonna solve the problem. He calls me his problem solver. Actually, he doesn't really know my name. He just calls me criminal scum, but you know. You may have beat me, but you still know better than the other trainers. Excuse me? That is not for you to try. I mopped the floor with you, like, quite easily, too. Like, it wasn't even a challenge. Who do, who do you think you are? Again, very nice they put a doctor over here because I we, we've been needing him quite a bit. Also, I, I was going to say I've been doing some thinking. I, honestly, I've been doing some battling. And I think now's probably the time. We're going to go ahead and get the Eviolite off of K. Rule. Uh, and we're going to give it to Morpha. So Morpha's slow, like much slower than K. Rule. Um, and while, like, I, so, K. Rule's got Intimidate, right? I trust K. Rule, um, and his stats enough that, you know, I think he's gonna be alright, uh, you know, with this switch, and then we'll just give the Amulet Coin to K. Rule, because, you know, sometimes we want to have it. Um, so now Morpha can take some more hits. Uh, Morpha is just not being the bullet sponge that uh, he needs to be. Um, so we're going to give him a little bit of help with that. Um, K. Rule, I think, is a lot sturdier than uh, Morpha. So we're going to respect that. And we're going to give uh, Morpha the Eviolite this time. All right. And, mm, listen to that music. As a proud member of Team Plasma, I will gladly battle with you. And as you can see, we are not nearly done with this gauntlet of Plasma Freaks. Oh, please end my misery. I literally couldn't care less about you. Anywho. Uh, all right. So we don't got much left. Um, guess we can get out that way. But over here, more importantly, let's get this item. Uh, it's a Dunderstone, um, which is, it's all right. I mean, again, <laughs> as I've stated earlier, uh, stones aren't exactly super useful in this generation because not a lot of Pokemon actually use them to evolve, uh, sadly enough. So let's go ahead and uh, battle another Grunt. The whole Patine Plasma, well, it has nothing to do with you. Oh, I think it has everything to do with me because I'm about to make that hope die awfully quick. Okay, okay, interesting. So, Joltik is trying to learn a new move, Electro Ball, um, which is an interesting move. So, the faster the user is than the target, the greater the damage. Now, like I said, Joltiks get pretty dang fast, uh, all things considered. And with Electro Web as a combo, we can actually slow down opponents. So, let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to forget Gastro, Gastro Acid. Uh, we probably weren't going to be using it anyway. Um, Muffet's too... Muffet is too fragile for it. Hey, what was that? You're too strong. Ah! Chill, girl. Dang. What you doing later? Uh, <laughs> anyway, Muffet's too fragile for that, um, basically. So, like, we don't want to set anything up on other players. Uh, we just want to, you know, get a lot of damage in and then uh, get out of there. Uh, uh, we're going to have to come back this way a little bit more. This episode's already gone on longer than I want it to. Um, and we're almost out of here. So, uh, just, guys... This is your assignment in the comments. Remind me to come back to this place uh, in Chargestone Cave. Um, but, oh, and the repel's wearing off. I wish we had a uh, Team Plasma repel instead of just a stupid Pokemon repel. I could much, I would much prefer that uh, in such a situation. So we're going to go ahead, throw up another stupid repel up, and challenge another Team Plasma. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> I see. You're very good at using Pokemon. Yeah, and you are. <laughs> I'm not very good at talking, though. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, just, I guess it's true that the Charge Stone Cavern does make anyone who's inside of it go absolutely crazy because uh, I'm feeling crazy. Uh, just because we've been in here for a long time. All right, yeah, yeah, heal me up real quick. Uh, heal me up real quick, medicine man. And uh, let us move right along. So one, two, three, four, five. 
Six and seven. That is an obnoxious amount of Team Plasma grunts that uh, we had to uh, well, well, grunt through, I suppose. Um, I just, I, that, absolutely unreasonable if you ask me. But moving right, I guess even any, even one uh, Team Plasma grunt would be uh, unreasonable if you... We're just going to go over here real fast. <laughs> I guess even one uh, Team Plasma Grunt would be unreasonable. Now, again, like I said, this episode's been going on for just too long. There's a little bit more to Charge Stone uh, Cave, but we are going to um, save that for uh, probably the next episode because uh, we need to be getting out of here soon uh, before I go uh, more crazy than I already am. And uh, since we're already in the whole, you know, throws of Team Plasma, I'm not going to cut that, you know, storyline short, I suppose. Um, all right. Yeah, that, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and confront the green-haired freak himself. Many different values mixed together, the world becomes gray. Because black and white, gray, yeah, get it? That is unforgivable! Dude, chill. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, this is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. Maniac, do you have a dream of your own? No, I haven't slept in years. Yes, of course I have a dream of my own. You have a dream. That's wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. That's right, guys. So, if you thought we were done with Team Plasma, you I ain't seen nothing yet. Of course, we have to finish it off with N in Charge Stone Cavern. And he is uh, ready, will it, ready and raring to go. All right, an electric charge showdown with the Greenhead Freak himself. I would love to see N being affected by static electricity. That would actually be hilarious. So, uh, as you can probably guess, uh, based on the uh, other theming of his teams, that his team is going to be absolutely completely different uh, than his prior team with uh, no repeats. Um, but you'll see Pokemon that you could have found throughout Charge Stone Cavern. Uh, starting off with Bulldore, that is the pure rock type, with the ability Sturdy, level 28, with the moves Mud Slap, Iron Defense, Smackdown, and Power Gem. So I'm expecting like a Power Gem or something to come my way. So we're going to go ahead and throw K. Rule out here to number one, get the Intimidate off. And if Power Gem or Smackdown comes our way, it's just not very effective. So, you know, works out. Get predicted, Scrub. It's that easy. <laughs> nice. Do you believe that Pokemon battles help us understand one another? Absolutely, of course I do. Or are we talking, like, in real life, um, you know, where this kind of stuff, uh, you know, is all fake? Or <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> all right. So, taking down Boldor, uh, easy money. Um, next up is Joltik, which we also have one of those. No, no, no need to, uh, you know, go over the absolute pleasantries of a Joltik as we are seeing them in real time. So he's going to have himself a Joltik as well, level 28. Uh, Bug Electric type with the ability Unnerve. N neither of us are eating berries, I suppose. With the moves Electro Web, Bug Bite, Gastro Acid, and Slash, which would have been very useful, actually, uh, if we had if we had kept Slash. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, we're just going to go ahead. Uh, we may as well Volt Switch out um, one more time uh, because, you know, it doesn't matter too much. Go ahead and throw Mojo Jojo out here to clean up a uh, little Bug Breath over here. And uh, get Mojo Jojo, just because, you know, <laughs> Mojo Jojo, like, unfortunately, it's great. He's got the fire typing and everything down, but, like, he's he's clearly starting to fall behind uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, when it comes to the team, all right? Like, he's, his, uh, he does very, pow very, sh very good numbers early on, but, um, as with the other elemental monkeys, um, uh, you know, because he can get an early evolution and his stats are okay, um, while fighting against a bunch of unevolved Pokemon, um, his, uh, the, the downsides of, uh, the elemental monkeys really start to show, so, um, little, little unfortunate, but, I mean, it, he's not bad, obviously, by any stretch of the imagination, he's still here, we wouldn't be cleaning up N like we are if we did not have Mojo Jojo here, um, so, you know, he's he's still good. He still has his uses and everything. It's just he's becoming less useful uh, by the episode, I suppose. All right, last but not least, Pharaoh Seed. Uh, yeah, we're just going to leave Mojo Jojo in here for this. We don't need to. Uh, we're probably not going to get much experience points uh, off of this thing. I will show you that the love for my friends permeates every cell of my body. All right, nerd. Anywho, uh, we totally uh, missed um, 
going over these Pokemon. So blink and you miss them. Clink, level 28, pure steel type Pokemon, ability plus with the ability with the moves gear grind, thundershock, bind, and charge beam, and his Pharaoh Seed. My friends, getting hurt. That's what a Pokemon battle is. Well, yeah, but you're you're not ever going to have any situation where you can completely prevent anyone from harm. Childish mentality is what that is. Um, it's a very childish outlook on the world, uh, which makes a lot of sense when you um, when you when you think about it, I suppose. Anywho, Ferris Seed, level 28, Grass Steel type, ability Iron Bars. If you hit it with a physical move, uh, you will hurt yourself with the moves Metal Claw, Pin Missile, Euro Ball, and Iron Defense. <laughs> Why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue the truth with meaning, with something as meaningless as a battle. As if I could make, as if that can make me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Maniac, where? Well, right in front of us, actually. Just a little further to my Stroughton City. Uh... Oh, man, uh, come on. Why are you here still, too? Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Maniac's voice from that far away. Maniac, who is that trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between people and Pokemon. But you put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them just like that? Oh, great. Yeah, he's also one of these guys where it's like, oh, all these rules and methods are arbitrary. So sorry, dude. Sometimes reality is just reality, all right? And the more you deny that, the more it gets bent back or pulled back like a big rubber band. And eventually it's going to snap and smack you in the face. And then you're going to realize that, you know, you can only bend reality for so long before <laughs> something, something happens. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what. The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, oh my, it looks like you're not my biggest fan. <laughs> Your opinion is understandable, but it just happens to be different from mine. My goodness, she is handling this like a champ. I would not be putting up with this childish BS, I'll tell you that much. I, my, as much as she yaps, my opinion of Juniper just went up a little bit, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? Yeah, yeah okay, just take everything, everything anyone says to the logical extreme, you chot. Yeah. Absolute childish behavior from N in this episode. I don't know what the heck he's got, what crawled up his <laughs> Pokeball and died, but, well, here we are. I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. Now that, that was a dangerous phrase right there. Tolerate a world like that. Hmm. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data for Pokemon and people to get along better. We need to take steps to learn more about them. Alright. Um, Maniac, where? I'm gonna go with Professor Juniper, because now... Cause I thought you said about... My goodness, now because I'm her bodyguard, I, I was reading ahead a little bit. I thought it said boyfriend, and I was like, whoa, mm, Bianca, mm, how about that? Uh, but with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and end off the episode right there on a rather frustrating note. I don't know. Like, N was being rather childish this episode. In the next one, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, resume our exploration of Charged Stone Cave to its fullest. Um, we just had to take care of... Uh, a brat apparently this episode so if you guys liked what you saw go ahead and smash that subscribe button like dislike whatever you're feeling like and until next time i will catch you later sharon is a big old nerd bianca flighty as a bird juniper really likes to yap then there's me, the Pokemaniac.